Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, especially to my sub dear subscribers. Hi Englishers, uh, this is Ma'am Raya once again. And for today's lesson, I'm sorry, yes, I got so um, excited. <laughs> I'm in the uh, yeah the other page. Okay, so for today's lesson, we're going to have an English grammar discussion. And we'll discuss or we'll talk about when should a woman be called Miss, Miss or Mrs. I'm pretty sure you also have the same confusion or the same question as me. Yes, this is kind of um, ordinary thing for us, but we sometimes miss okay, this kind of um, answer to this. Okay, so let's go ahead and have the discussion. But uh, before I'll continue, so I will do have a little favor from you to please do subscribe to my channel and also like my videos okay so here the first word is miss with m-i-s-s -S. by the way this is in the noun form so it's not in the verb form okay so the pronunciation or how it's said is miss m-i-s okay this word is originated in the 17th century it is a contraction of the word mistress here okay and it should also be used when you are referring to an unmarried young woman Okay. It can also be attached to a name or it can be used as by itself. Okay. So if you want to, if you wish to address someone. Okay. So uh, very simple. So if you know someone who is unmarried, who is young woman, so then it's very safe to use the word miss, M-I-S-S. -S. We have here an example. Okay. Excuse me, miss or Miss Rona Anders is the new head of accountancy. So we can assume that Rona Anders is young woman and also unmarried okay so it can also be used as a way to describe something that okay a woman represents like miss universe okay if you are also referring to a multiple unmarried young women we can also use the plural form of missus okay so we do have the simple basic form of the verb missus here again we are talking about the noun okay how we call a certain woman okay so the next word we have here is miss it's ms actually there's a period there um miss sorry the pronunciation is miss or it could be miss or miss okay it's a savior for uh when we don't know the woman's marital status okay if she's divorced okay or we actually don't know so the safest um word to call that woman is just miss Okay. It is originated in the 20th century and it was very popular for the 1950s onwards. The plural form for that, okay, we do have here. Okay, so uh, if you try to uh, introduce a lot of uh, women that you don't know their marital status or yes, you are, uh, you are very confident that they are married, then you can call okay, this one. Okay, and just to have more information, uh, for the use of miss, by the way, it's M-I-S-S. -S. So if a, if a certain woman is still just engaged without official, officially uh, married, no mayor, no priest who announced that they are officially married, then that woman is still considered to be called miss, M-I-S-S, -S, because she's still engaged. But in the future, if they are already married, they are offic officially, sorry, officially yes, announced to the public that they are a married couple, then that's the time that that certain woman can also be called uh, Mrs. Okay, yes. So I hope that's clear. Okay, I made myself clear there. Okay, we have here the next one. Yes, that's what I'm talking about earlier. Mrs. Okay, the pronunciation of that is Mrs. Okay, if a woman is already wearing her wedding ring, okay, not just an engagement ring, but a wedding ring already, so it is just common to refer to her as Mrs. Again, we just have to um, emphasize something here. So I would like to clarify. Okay, this is, I hope it helps you. So when to use Miss, Mrs. and Ms. Okay, here, it would help, it would help if you used Miss when addressing girls and young unmarried women okay you should use miss when you are unsure of a woman's marital status or if she is unmarried and prefers to be addressed with a marital status neutral title okay so probably um she's into a divorce or she's still um engaged or it's up it's really up to her okay if you know the person really that well but for uh for a general point of view then it is safe, yes, to use miss, okay. 
Um, you should also use Mrs. when addressing a married woman. I hope that's clear. Okay, we have a very simple tab here. Okay, so yeah, we have here. So when we call Miss, it's for unmarried women, also for younger women. We use Mrs. only for married women. Okay, we use Miss, MS for unmarried, unknown, younger, or also older so as you can see okay miss here is the most common or the safest um word or representation that you can call a woman okay i hope in that case yes you already know how to call your teachers okay so while it is common to use titles when addressing people it is also important to use them correctly to avoid offending someone yes very simple but yes it can actually offend someone yeah, if you don't try to use them um correctly so for this um, lesson, I hope you learned something yeah, a lot. Okay, thank you so much for uh, for having your time with me. Thank you so much for joining with me in today's lesson. I hope you are having a great day. Enjoy learning, my dear students. See you in my next video lesson. Bye for now. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my videos.